It's no secret, Central Georgia has a lot of talent. We know about great athletes and musicians who were born and raised right here in the heart of Georgia. But you know, we all hear a lot about some of the great minds developed and nurtured here. So tonight, I want to introduce you to one of them, Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice. Born and raised in Macon, highly educated, degrees from Georgia Tech and Harvard. Highly accomplished with too many awards and accolades to count. She's the president and CEO of the Morehouse School of Medicine. But to really get to know Dr. Montgomery Rice, you have to talk about her family, especially her mom. She would do the most annoying thing. She would whisper in your ear while you were asleep. Things like all things are possible. You can do anything. Now, I don't believe my mother knew subliminal messaging. But she do, did know that prayer and speaking things into the universe mattered. And that's what she did for us. That us is Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice's sisters, Marsha Johnson, Priscilla Blassingame, and Ashley Montgomery Hightower. They all grew up in Macon during the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, all graduates of Southwest High School. So we all knew as we were growing up with her, that she was gonna become someone. We didn't know what that someone yes. would be, mm -hmm. but we knew she had it in her to, to become someone really important and also to be one to have an impact on the community. Looking at these old pictures, you may be able to spot that potential too. Montgomery Rice was in the Honor Society, class president and valedictorian for Southwest class of 1979. And what Macon provided me was the foundation to believe that I could accomplish more because I had such a great uh, support system and my mothers and my sisters and my teachers uh, all the way from, I can remember back in elementary school. High school took it to another level. And my high school teacher, Mrs. Newbold said, you're good in math and science. I think you ought to be an engineer. And that's how I ended up at Georgia Tech. How tough was it, or was it tough, being an African-American woman interested in STEAM, you know, math and science, in the 60s and 70s? Was that tough? I don't know that I recognized it was tough. I knew there was not a lot of people who were, women who were doing that. So you can imagine what a big deal it was when Montgomery Rice landed a chemical engineering job at Procter & Gamble her senior year at Georgia Tech. Oh, everybody was excited except me because I actually didn't like engineering. And so I went to the encyclopedia and I looked up math, science, and people. And one of the things that comes up is medicine. And I said, I'm gonna go to medical school. Not just any medical school, Harvard Medical. A medical degree from Harvard, a researcher and infertility specialist, led to faculty positions and leadership roles at various health centers over the years. There were highs and lows. The overcoming uh, doubt that I had about myself and doubt that others had about me was uh, very significant and me, I think, being successful. Fast forward to now. Dr. Montgomery Rice is president and CEO of the Morehouse School of Medicine. She's worked to diversify the healthcare workforce, one medical student at a time since 2011. And she's returned to Macon for health fairs and to inspire the next generation. Dr. Montgomery Rice also worked with state leaders during the pandemic. Her sisters are beyond proud. I'm impacted because I strive to be like my big sister. So everything I do um, is to be, you know, excellent. So a mom's whispered wishes all those years ago. I just wish my mom was it. Yeah. It's all because my mom always yes. said that we can do and be anything we wanted to be. Turned into dreams come true. I was able to dream because People believed in me, and they taught me how to believe in myself. What an honor it was to talk to Dr. Montgomery Rice and her sisters. Now, if you enjoy seeing all these old pictures, we have lots more online at 13WMAZ.com, along with an extended interview about Dr. Montgomery Rice, who shares the most challenging and rewarding parts of her job.